Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Trump just signed a document every Christian needs to know about. President Trump has been serious since he ran for office that he wanted to change our country back to a society where we should not be shamed for being Christian or for praying. And he has fulfilled and stayed true to this promise. His most recent actions are a good indicator of that. President Trump declared a national day of prayer, specifically for the victims of Hurricane Harvey. The Los Angeles Times reported. The president was joined Friday in the Oval Office by leaders of the Salvation Army, the American Red Cross and Southern Baptist Disaster Relief. He commended the families and rescue workers dealing with the remnants of the massive storm in Texas and Louisiana. The declaration read as follows. Hurricane Harvey first made landfall as a Category 4 storm near Rockport, Texas, on the evening of August 25, 2017. The storm has since devastated communities in both Texas and Louisiana, claiming many lives, inflicting countless injuries, destroying or damaging tens of thousands of homes, and causing billions of dollars in damage. The entire nation grievers with Texas and Louisiana. We are deeply grateful for those performing acts of service, and we pray for healing and comfort for those in need. Americans have always come to the aid of their fellow countrymen, friend helping friend, neighbor helping neighbor, and stranger helping stranger, and we vow to do so in response to Hurricane Harvey. From the beginning of our nation, Americans have joined together in prayer during times of great need, to ask for God's blessings and guidance. This tradition dates to June 12, 1775, when the Continental Congress proclaimed a day of prayer following the battles of Lexington and Concord, and April 30, 1789 when President George Washington, during the nation's first presidential inauguration, asked Americans to pray for God's protection and favor. When we look across Texas and Louisiana, we see the American spirit of service embodies by countless men and women. Brave first responders have rescued those strange and drowning cars and rising water. Families have given food and shelter to those in need. Houses of worship have organized efforts to clean up communities and repair damaged homes. Individuals of every background are striving for the same goal to aid and comfort people facing devastating losses. As Americans, we know that no challenge is too great for us to overcome. As response and recovery efforts continue, and as Americans provide much-needed relief to the people of Texas and Louisiana, we are reminded of Scripture's promise that God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. Melania and I are grateful to everyone devoting time, effort, and resources to the ongoing response, recovery, and rebuilding efforts. We invite all Americans to join us as we continue to pray for those who have lost family members or friends, and for those who are suffering in this time of crisis. Now, therefore, I Donald J. Trump, President of the United States of America, do hereby proclaim September 3, 2017, as a national day of prayer for the victims of Hurricane Harvey and for our national response and recovery efforts. We give thanks for the generosity and goodness of all those who have responded to the needs of their fellow Americans. I urge Americans of all faiths and religious traditions and backgrounds to offer prayers today for all those harmed by Hurricane Harvey, including people who have lost family members or been injured, those who have lose homes or other property, and our first responders, law enforcement officers, military personnel, and medical professionals leading the response and recovery efforts. Each of us, in our own way, may call upon our God for strength and comfort during this difficult time. I call on one voice of prayer as we seek to uplift one another and assist those suffering from the consequences of this terrible storm. In witness whereof, I have hereunto set my hand this first day of September, in the year of our Lord 2017, and of the independence of the United States of America the 242nd. Prayer has always been a foundational bedrock of the American society. Whether it was during the Revolution, the Civil War, the Hurricane Zorg and September 11, 2001. It has always been something that brought Americans together of all different shapes, sizes, colors, and creeds. And it should remain that. However, for so long liberals have wanted to take the faith and religion out of our society. Yet time and time again history has shown how society has failed when they stray from their moral conscience. What President Trump did was the right thing to do and the Christian thing to do. The American people are lucky to have a leader such as him that is willing to take a stand on an important issue even when Democrats and liberals alike rebuke him for it. At the end of the day, all that matters is that the American people support him. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.